Today, we take one more step together by responding to Call to Action 17, which will allow residential school survivors and their families to reclaim their names on their passports and other travel documents, names that had been stolen from them by the residential schools. Our names are among the first things we receive. They're individualized, unique. They speak to our past, honoring those who came before us and reflect our family's history. Naming children is a profoundly important tradition across many different cultures and communities. The traditional names given to Indigenous ch children carry deep cultural meaning. Yet for many First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people, colonialism has robbed them of these sacred names. Indigenous children stolen from their families to be forced into the residential school system had even their very names stolen from them, as the testimonials of the survivors, which are contained in the TRC final report, lay out in painful detail. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission calls to action number 17, called on all levels of government to enable residential school survivors and their families to reclaim their Indigenous names on identity documents. And today, I'm proud to announce that our government has implemented call to action number 17. Effective immediately, Indigenous individuals can now apply to reclaim their names as written on passports and other identity documents. While call to action 17 specifically referenced passports, as the minister, we have gone further and are including replacement travel documents, including citizenship certificates and permanent resident cards. As well, it will apply not only to residential school survivors and their families, but to all Indigenous people in Canada, and it will be totally free.